Hey, what's up, guys? We watched every episode of Scott Pilgrim Takes Off. And if you want us to watch other shows, comment them down below. And if you want to force us to watch stuff, you can do so over on our Patreon. We're currently watching Total Drama, Revenge of the Island, and Avatar's exclusive patron-only series. So you can get access to that if you subscribe. And subscribe to our YouTube so you don't miss the next video. Netflix already messed up the anime, though. You're not supposed to play the intro song at the beginning of the first episode. Rookie mistake, bro. This looks so cool, though. This is really weird to me. It is weird to see the name Michael Sarah <laughs> pop up on screen as anime characters are flying around. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving this, but this is so weird so far. I'm so alone. That's the name of the first volume. No, that's the uh, Wreck-It Ralph font that they used right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to wake up, dude. It's time to wake up, dude. Whoa, dude, that's sick. Do you think anybody's got the Ramona Flowers alarm clock now? It's time to wake up, dude. We Hey, this is just like the movie. This is similar to the movie. I don't like the implication from their band name that gamers have said. She's dating Scott. More on that later. <laughs> They're like, don't leave. Don't leave the show just yet. She's sort of my girlfriend. Scott, your life is so interesting. They're being more authentic, though. I feel like Canada looks slightly shittier in this in this adaptation. <laughs> the babe! Anime! Um, Sugoi? That shit looked like the cover to a fucking city pop compilation right there. He needs the liquid courage to talk to her. Is this a Pac-Man seat? You know Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> they changed it to Sonic. But in the early 90s, there were two different Sonic cartoons airing at the same time. Yo, I know this. <laughs> I know this. And the same guy played Sonic in both shows. They were both gassed too. How is the Sonic pickup line worse than the Pac-Man pickup line? How did they make it worse? She's single? Got a job delivering DVDs for Netflix. She works for Netflix in this version. Wait, what time period is this? Early 2000s, I think. Oh my God. If she works for Netflix and she's getting paid with stock, she's going to be fucking rich. Holy shit. <gasps> Sonic guy? Sonic guy. That's tough. Does he fuck with Sonic heroes, though? I need to know. Wallace Wells? Wallace is my cool gay roommate. He lets me use his credit card. It's like a sugar daddy situation. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the Netflix thing, like, I know it's like promotion for the platform, but that shit is so nostalgic to see. It doesn't have to be a date. It could be a low-key team-up. Canada and America joining forces. You're Bro, that's like us though. Yeah. That's how I pitched the channel to Jack. How much of the dialogue have they changed, Jack? They just like completely like rewrote yeah. shit. Brian Lee O'Malley, they just didn't want to make the same thing again. So I think they just changed a lot of it. Professor Xavier's School for Gifted Youngsters. Is that a Sonic thing? Is it? He's freaking out because he did. she didn't know who what X-Men is. <laughs> like, are they a good fit for each other? She doesn't know shit about Sonic. She doesn't know shit about X-Men. She's not a good fit for anyone if she doesn't know who Sonic is. I mean, let's be real. How does she have colored hair and not know anything? Does she even have they slash them pronouns? Gideon? He shows up so early in the show? Wait, is Gideon like the ringmaster or something? He always was the ringmaster. Oh, shit, I guess I missed that part the two times I watched the movie. <laughs> Oh, this is the cute moment when they open the door. That's the awesome panel from the comic. So that star door was one of your space subways? Wait, this is weird. Don't they have sex in this scene? Are you allowed to have sex in anime? Well, they don't actually have sex. Okay, thank God. I need I need to maintain my purity, you know what I mean? Dude. <gasps> People are going to spend many hours trying to de-blur that scene. Does this help? Oh. I'm cold too. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. What? It feels like I'm there right now touching Ramona Flowers. I want to be touching Scott Pilgrim. Shut the fuck up. The music is so sexy. What the fuck? Why is this paced more like a normal movie than the movie was? I don't want to have sex with you, Pilgrim. Not right now. That's okay. I'm not going to send you home in a snowstorm or anything. Why does she look so cute? Because she's kawaii anime character, bro. And her eyes are half the size of her head. <laughs> the next time you say kawaii, my brain's going to blow the fuck up. You sent for me. 
Matthew Patel looks like 7,000 times cooler as an anime character than in the actual movie. He does. But this is where it gets interesting. Scott Pilgrim is dating a high schooler. Oh. <laughs> what? They're going to cancel him? Twitter is going to go crazy about this. Does Ramona know? He hasn't told her yet. Wow. And I thought we were evil. He said, wow, I thought we were evil. <laughs> this guy held hands with a high schooler. <laughs> because his brutal death is inevitable. Because of me. Because I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> 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 this shit is awesome. I'm loving this so far. You have to leave. I like this cat, man. The cat gave him the side eye. That's like the most realistic cat behavior. He knew he didn't get pussy. Like, that cat knew. You have a... Band. Yeah. We're terrible. Please come. Please come. It's like Jeb Bush having sex. Okay. He's like, please, please come. come. <laughs> hey, Knives. Have you met Stacy? Wow. She's Scott's sister. Wow, that's gross. I forgot about that. The fact that Scott's younger sister is older than his girlfriend just makes everything so much worse. <laughs> the eyes popping out of head, bro. <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit. Are you a fan of Sapa Bomb? No, I'm kind of seeing someone in the band. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, oh god. Can someone create like a high quality edit? Battle of the Bands from Scott Pilgrim, but it's Sapa Bomb, Bochi the Rock Band, and the Kaon Band. Mr. Pilgrim! Oh shit, that looks sick. Matthew Patel! Oh my god! I like how like underwhelming that transition was. He just unbuttoned his jacket. Ramona Flowers has seven evil exes, each more powerful than the last. Yeah, they do a great job making Canada seem like a terrifying hellscape. It is terrifying. And you really dated this guy. Yeah. In middle school. <gasps> it's the comic! Oh my god. Oh. Uh, Wait, she smoked cigarettes in middle school? Yes! She was fucking cool. Matthew Patel was the only non-white, non-jock boy in school. That's awesome. They animate the comic like this? That's sick. He didn't even get truly evil until high school, and by that time he lived far, far away. Why is he so evil? Probably because he never got any. He was in middle school. What the fuck is he expecting to get? <gasps> Whoa, 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 animation. Dude, this show looks fucking amazing. This is like the best shit ever made. K.O.? K.O.? Okay, K.O. I won! Wait, Scott turned into two fucking loonies? Are you kidding me? Maybe that's all the change in his pocket. What? They killed Scott Pilgrim? What are you doing? I won! That means you and I are free to get back together. Oh, bitch, you haven't dated since the eighth grade. <laughs> she just leaves. The show over? There was no show. The bass player was punched to death. How is he going to come back to life? Are they going to force him to get a job at like Starbucks or something? Scott Pilgrim takes off. Yeah, he takes off from being alive. Didn't they say that uh, when when you're killed in the comic, it's like you just go back to your like home, like your respawn point? I'm pretty sure you just die if you get killed in this. But like if he had like a like a one up, then he could respawn. Oh, she's dying, she's her, dying hair. her hair. I thought she was like literally going to like make a new Scott out of like gel or something. <laughs> she looks good, man. Yeah, I think she looks hideous. I think she looks like an ugly bitch. I want to like see her at GameStop and like, like I want to buy Mario Wonder from her at GameStop. You know what I mean? Like she either works at GameStop, Hot Topic or Dispensary. How long is it going to keep this going, dude? Like, did he actually die? You're the girl that got Scott killed, right? <laughs> <laughs> Does Scott, like, not have any family, like, at all? Is there no one in- He has parents. So where are his parents? Did his parents not show up to his funeral? Is that, is that what's happening right now? Oh my god, it's knives. How does she have his jacket? Maybe she, like, looted his corpse, like, after he died or something. Oh shit, it's oh, Envy! Yo, yo! Envy! The fit is going crazy! She fucking looks like a trigger character. Like, she looks like she pulled up out of Kill La Kill. <laughs> This is the greatest funeral ever. If this was my funeral, I would kill myself. Whoa! Oh my god! Is this a funeral or Project Runway? I will run. <laughs> no 
fucking what way. Fuck? No, this is like one of the, way. This is like one of those scenes you see posted, and it's like you think it's an edit. Bro, Scott is dead for so long. This is insane. I like there's just a button on the elevator that says secret lair. I'm not gonna lie, I've worn this Lucas Lee fit all the time. This gray jeans and fucking black t-shirt. The Lucas Lee fit is the I just work here fit. You can go backstage in any location wearing that fit. Are you questioning? My methods? I'm not questioning them. I'm answering them. Bro, Gideon looks like a Pokemon character. I feel like both Matthew Patel and Gideon look like Pokemon characters in the Elite Four of like a, a certain game or something. You know what I mean? This league needs a new direction and a new evil ex in charge. Can you imagine being like such a baddie that all your exes form like an evil coalition? Like how down bad does a group of people have to be? <laughs> this whole show is just a doozy so desperate. Bro, they got the Mexican filter on the max in this episode. They put the saturation in Photoshop like to a fucking billion, dude. Kevin Graves versus Matthew Patel. Fight. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a dance off. I'm not gonna lie. Bro, I was really hoping for a rap battle personally. Maybe that's coming up next. What the fuck is going on? Okay, it kind of is a dance battle. It's not necessarily a battle more than it is just like a expression of homoeroticism. You know what I mean? Are the demon baddies coming out? This is fucking awesome. Oh my God. Oh, they're balling? Scott Pilgrim be balling and shit? Okay. He ran away. <laughs> Oh my god. This, this is, is insane. Fucking awesome. This is crazy. They are making Matthew Patel so fucking cool in this. Why is he so overpowered? He's so daddy. This is biblical. This is like Judas versus Jesus. This is what it was gonna be. <laughs> Judas, Judas, this is like it's a fight scene. Judas versus Jesus was way better in the manga, okay? The result of this fight is legally binding. Everything of yours now belongs to Mr. Patel. Matthew Patel's gonna take over the world. He's gonna become the ringleader of it all. So all we have to do is beat up Elon Musk and then we can have X Dude. back to ourselves. I want to put you into your misery. Well, at least they let him live, you know what I mean? This is my league now. I'm the main character. <laughs> he literally is. There has been more Matthew Patel in this show so far than Scott Pilgrim. It too? Eat me. You have something the other exes don't. A <laughs> pussy. <laughs> I know. We could be a league of two. Oh, she's got a pussy. He is a pussy. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> He's such a bitch. Is Scott inside of the cat? Why? What if he appears what? inside of the asshole? What if he pops How? inside of the asshole? Dude, I'd be wearing this fit all the time, not gonna lie. Underwear and a shirt? It's like such a fucking underrated fit. Women's underwear specifically. I wanna be Ramona Flowers, bro. Bro, this soundtrack is so good too. Oh, never mind. She turned it off. Fuck you, Ramona. Fuck you, Ramona. That was relaxing. Scott? Dude, this is like, this is like cyberpunk. Oh my god, they're on the moon. <gasps> He's alive! Mm, I don't think so. Ramona rents a video. Wait, what she the works fuck at is Netflix. You should get that shit for yeah. free. This is honestly fucked up because Canada never had the Netflix DVD subscription. Wait, they're rewriting history with this? Anyways, that's why I'm busy writing this movie. So don't bother calling. Yo, he's got the Ninja Turtle on the left. He got dopey ass dotted uh, Leonardo. Ooh, this is aesthetic. Why are those blinds so well animated? Oh, his sleep paralysis demon is gonna write the screenplay for him. Aww. That's that's adorable. Oh, that's awesome. That's wholesome. What the hell was that? Wait, what the fuck was that? Does he just actually have a sleep paralysis demon that he hangs out with? Are you not chill with your sleep paralysis de paralysis demon like no, that? No, I'm not okay with my sleep paralysis demon. My dick never got sleep paralysis. Whoa, I wrote a feature length screenplay on my sleep. What? What is going on? Oh, we can just get the same animation with a different color. That's cool. I like how it's two colors in this version. Well, it's because like they only have eight episodes. They only have time for a certain amount of colors. So they're actually like doing two colors at the same time. You know what I mean? It's mm. economical. Someone just ruined it. They said Johnny Test hair. Like the entire <laughs> it's not Johnny left. Test hair. It is, it is Johnny Test hair. It's Charmeleon. Last night in my dreams, 
I saw Scott's subspace highway. Is no one gonna acknowledge the fact that he's still dead? <laughs> We're just gonna do this scene while he is still canonically dead. Well, Ramona's the only one that cares. She hung out with him once and somehow she's the only person in his life that cares. Actually, maybe that explains why. What? He replaying the death. What? 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 Oh, that was the sleep paralysis demon thing pulled him in. What the fuck is going on in this show? Don't tell me you're going to try to find him. I think I have to. Ramona. <laughs> Ramona. Is it going to be like future Scott? Scott from the future is going to save his It's like a time travel story or something. I thought you could give me a quick rundown of the major characters in Scott's life. The fuck me eyes are insane. They're That's both okay. giving each other the fuck me eyes <gasps> you know who you should talk to his other ex are they gonna have to fight each other's exes in this or something like why does she have to know who michael Sarah's exes are well she's trying to figure out who kidnapped scott like what happened there's always scott's understudy is knives still there knives is learning how to play bass she's gonna replace scott in the band drumming's a great outlet for my emotions rage mostly Wow. Wait, I think they kiss in the comments. They like, there's one part where they make out knives and- Oh pin. my God, dude, this is insane, bro. Knives is a victim, bro. Knives needs to get out of here, bro. Actually, it's so it's slowly starting to sound like a baseline to a stroke song. I miss you and I miss my teenage girlfriend. My teenage girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah. Have you ever thought about collaborating with a seasoned songwriter? Uh, Motherfucker called himself a seasoned songwriter. <laughs> His only fucking seasonings are salt and pepper. Sorry, I'm late. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> they have such a distinct character design. You can tell that like, Core's already in love with the, that girl that he saw for two seconds, but just because her <laughs> just because her character design is slightly androgynous, Core immediately fell in love. She was eating unshelled pistachios. Like, how can I not fuck with her? You've been using Scott's unconscious dreamscape to deliver DVDs quicker. You're the first person in Canada to understand that. What? <laughs> it's like typical American shit. I mean, lack of public transit. You gotta get creative. Scott Pilgrim became my first boyfriend. Are they not gonna show when Scott beat up that random guy for no reason? <laughs> Scott had to fight through an entire army of teen jerks and their leader, Simon Lee, to rescue me. But it's but they changed. That's not even true. You like him, don't you? Sundere anime. Sundere anime. Woohoo! We were college roommates and more they were roommates bro they, they were roommates. roommates and i'm more you want to talk about feelings start talking i've got a better idea therapy let's fight about them oh never mind i wish it was therapy <laughs> everyone in this goddamn show needs therapy That looks sick. Is the blood? Is that allowed? It's rated M. Is that allowed? Well, I just never imagined that there would actually be bleeding for the fights. I thought I thought it was all like Chinibio bullshit where like none of it's actually happening. You know what I mean? Are they gonna transport it into the movies? Oh my goodness. That's so sick. They were just roommates. They were just roommates, cope. The planes are falling! The planes are falling! <laughs> Pearl Harbor moment! <laughs> Ramona Flowers caused Pearl Harbor. It's confirmed. I'm sorry. For what? For causing Pearl Harbor. See you later, bozo. This is awesome. So like the perspective of this show is having Ramona go through the kind of arc that Scott goes through. Well, yeah, in the comics, they also heavily like focus way more on Ramona. She's much more like surface level in the movie. So this is kind of like taking more of that. I see, I see. Yeah, in the comic series, Ramona is actually the main character and Scott Pilgrim dies in chapter two. They just use him for marketing. Because me men are better, yeah. More easily consumable, you know? I would consume a man. I consume men like a lot. College doesn't seem that long ago. We were pretty immature, weren't we? This business is closing its door. They have destroyed all of the merchandise. I mean, they were already on the way out. It's like if you burn down a blockbuster, like who really cares? I have unfinished business with Scott. Emotional business? He's dead, Ramona. Dude, we need the Lisa inclusion in the show. They better fucking put Lisa in the show or I'm gonna give us a zero out of 10. That's a surprise tool that can help us later. Worth a shot. What about you? Oh, I'm not. 
I'm not one of you people. I'm not one of. I'm not <laughs> one of you. Disgusting. Oh, 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 what? The, what? 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 Oh, oh, holy shit! It's that easy, huh? No sparks. Eh, worth a shot. What about your hot coworker? Bro, she fucking leg locked her instant. This girl is still the horniest bitch ever. She tried to fuck every girl in a 10 mile radius. This episode kind of reminded me of Five Nights at Freddy's, though, in a weird way. You know what I mean? No, you ruined I it. I don't know what you. I you don't know what you, you mean. It. I don't know what you mean. They work at a place, and um, is that it? Oh, oh, it's scary. It's scary because there's gay people in this episode. Well, it definitely was a jump scare. I wasn't <laughs> expecting her to do that. Mm, my mistake. Catch her a garbage can. Sorry. The robot. That's so funny, dude. Like she recognized it actually was a robot. Kitty and Graves. G man. So. He don't remember me. What? Gordon? Gordon Goose from North Bay, Ontario? Gordon Goose? No way, motherfuckers from North Bay. What does that mean? You explain the Canada That's Lord That's bumfuck Bay. nowhere. He's from bumfuck nowhere. <laughs> so I spent the last of my pocket money on bus fare to Toronto. They pronounce it Toronto. This is my, this is the greatest show ever. <laughs> like, finally, my culture is represented. Gordon, get your butt in here. <laughs> He's so sad the craziest house interior design I've seen in my life. He had two spiral staircases. There's just something beautiful about being like a multi-millionaire like movie star and still wearing Crocs. Crocs are for everyone. Okay? I've woken up like a lot of mornings like this. I'm not gonna yeah, lie. Yeah, looking at your fountain and your ginormous mansion. This is how Jack wakes up every morning. So many tech decks everywhere. That's crazy. Oh, he has big tech decks. All oh, those things for your fingers? They made them for your feet? What the fuck? Whoa, that looked fucking... That was so you awesome. That was probably the only part of the actual series that you also animated. She comes up to me and she's all like, Hey, I took that dude. I'm like, yeah, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, this one's awesome. Awesome. So so episode. Cool. I'm like, whatever. I feel like the only studios that could have like captured this energy from Scott Pilgrim is like Trigger and Science Star. Like those are the only two studios that could have done it. Dude, we need the next Family Guy skateboard scene to look exactly like <laughs> that. Oh no, no. The Family Guy skateboarding scenes are like weirdly well animated, but co still comparing this to Family Guy hurts my brain a little. <laughs> so is this like the, uh, the Canadian perspective on like what like a Californian is like? Cause it's pretty accurate. Like this is the correct amount of car accidents. Lucas, between your string of box office bombs and reports of your toxic skater boy behavior, this town's on the verge of saying, see you later, boy. <laughs> no way. Is that an Avril Lavigne reference? We've got one offer for a lead role. I suggest you take it. It's probably going to be the last one for a while. Your flight to Toronto departs in four hours. She said Toronto, though. That's how you know that she's not Canadian. Exactly. They're keeping it consistent, dude. <laughs> And then we, we go from that American ass English song to fucking anime opening. Like it's it's actually crazy. Okay, so he's an actor. He's very controversial. Not a lot of people want to work with him. He's just gotten an opportunity to be in a next big movie, The Flash. She say big mouth food this. Big mouth oh, food this. <laughs> is, is that what she said in the song? Of course he's here. What do you think our job is? Oh man. Do you think we could have a selfie? Do any Canadian people sound like that, Jack? I don't know, British person. Oh, is that Simon Pegg? Oh, they're, this is in California? Or? No, it's Toronto. There are British people in Canada. That, I refuse to believe it. <laughs> Wait, did Young Yu just write Scott Pilgrim? This is weird. This, this is, is meta. This what? is like a- Wait, is the script gonna just be like the original Scott Pilgrim story? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it's directed by Edgar Wrong <laughs> instead of Edgar Wright. What the fuck is happening in this show? Did you know in the U.S. these are called Mario Karts? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. That's definitely true. Thanks for the tour. Anytime. I know my way around the studio. <laughs> Could have seen that coming a mile away. Wait, he's wearing Scott 
That's Scott's shirt! I thought that was Steven Universe. No, he's wearing the plum tree shirt, but it doesn't have plum tree on it. Damn, girl. What are you doing later? <laughs> <laughs> Wallace! Is that actor Wallace? Oh my lord. Straight Wallace is gross. He's just looking at her booty, bro. Yeah, he should be looking at a man's booty. Straight Wallace is disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Straight Wallace is something I don't need in my life. Like, get that shit out of here, bro. I do not need that. What brings you here? I heard they hired a notorious heterosexual to play me. <laughs> oh, the way he <laughs> said like that. A notorious, notorious heterosexual. heterosexual. I had a dream about that girl again. <sighs> <laughs> He's this so is big. So this weird. is fucked so up. Big. This is fucked up. This is disturbing. You? What's your name? I'm Wallace Wells. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my They're going to give him the role. You catch any gossip on who the lucky lady might be? Not the mystery I'm trying to solve. And on that note, wish me luck. Who is he f***ing? It's gonna be a crazy plot. It's gonna be like Envy or some shit. So this movie's what would have happened if Scott won the fight against Matthew Patel? Yeah. Scott defeats all your exes and the two of you live happily ever after. Is it legal to say that this is a multiverse? You're a quintessential Hollywood bad boy. You can't judge me. You're on a quest to find a guy who was dating a high schooler. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> it sets Scott up in a way to where any character could just roast him easily. This just in, the actor playing Scott Pilgrim is dating an actress playing a high schooler. <laughs> no way, dude. No way, hilarious. dude. Lucas! <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Maybe Luke, he, he kind of is a good guy in this. Too. How did they get in? We are you surrounded after scum? Show us. Oh, are these like the Twitterites? All of Scott Pilgrim <laughs> Twitter has gathered. This literally is like a dream come true for anyone who played Skate 3 growing up. But where's all the glitches? This isn't glitchy enough. Whoa, dude, this is so, I love skateboarding, man. This is I so love when cool. anime uses 3D backgrounds well. You know what I mean? This is so fucking cool, man. This is what it feels like to get canceled on Twitter by 14 year olds, man. Like this is This is what it feels like to open gum in high school, bro. <laughs> Wait, so you're telling me if I beat them to death they turn into loonies? Man just acquired the entire net worth of TMZ. Oh my god, that's like the most brutal thing that's happened in the show so far. You shouldn't have dated a 31-year-old playing a 17-year-old, Lucas. Need an assist? Why would you help me? Because I love Steven Universe. I saw your shirt, and from the moment I saw it, I realized you're the one for me. Until you left me with nothing but a broken heart. Dude, this guy is not in high school. This dude's like seven feet tall. You know, every school has one of those kids who looks like he's fucking 35 going to high school. It's no longer on the air. I'm a, uh, hmm? damn. Skibbity toilet! Shut up, that's not <laughs> even Skibbity toilet. That's yeah, that is. Bag. That is literally Skibbity's toilet. It's like Skibbity bag. Still think I kidnapped the real Scott Pilgrim? I just have the same style as Lucas Lee, like, I'm not gonna lie. I actually wore the same clothes as him. And the same body, too. I'm trying. Take care of yourself, Lucas. <laughs> Whatever. This is fascinating. This is a really interesting take on, on Scott Pilgrim. Scott Pilgrim? You mean the lead role in this picture? Well, good luck. Watch out, guys. Vegan coming through. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Todd? Is it the vegan? Find out next time on Spilling the Milk. This is the biggest fucking like troll in like recent media, I think. The advertising was so misleading. They were like, oh, we're making a couple small changes to update it. They fucking trolled us and I kind of respect it. Big mouth! <laughs> Bro literally said big mouth, dude. The following documentary began as a behind the scenes promotional featurette for the release of the major Canadian motion picture. Why they gotta specify that's Canadian? That diminishes the quality of the work. <laughs> She's lazy. She's not even singing though. They're here for you to sing. 
People keep asking me if the movie lives up to my vision. They really made an Office episode, huh? Like, that's kind of interesting. Brian Lee O'Malley's like, guys, I got some original ideas here. I'm going to make Scott Pilgrim into The Office. Wait for it. Aren't we supposed to be interviewing Envy Adams' stunt double now? Hey. Wait, Ramona is the stunt double for herself in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> that is amazing. Your name is also Ramona Flowers? Mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at her face! Look how cute she looks hanging there! When you're done up there, I've got another stunt for you. Yeah, I like Envy Ramona better. Is that wrong? No, you don't. They made a, a strict creative choice to make Envy as Ramona uglier than the actual Ramona so that there wouldn't be competition for the Ramona. I don't think any woman is ugly. I think they're all beautiful in their own ways. I, I just wanted to ask Todd- You're not wanted here, Ramona. Todd is busy. We're acting. Dude, Brie Larson is so funny, man. I'm so happy her Marvel movie did really well recently. Oh yeah, it was so good. Yeah, it was great. Like everyone saw it. I took my whole family. Like we all we didn't buy tickets to the we just snuck in, but like Well if you don't watch the movie, you hate women. And action. I ever thought. He's so jacked. I love it. Somehow this is worse than Chris Evans playing Scott. Like, I feel like some Lucas Lee was low-key a better Scott. Like, I don't know how, but it got worse. They're just making out. All right, Todd. Just a gentle little touch. They're just too horny. They're too hot. When two hot people coexist like this, you can't help but fucking, like, indulge. They're gonna have a fire soft four point movie after they finish shooting this. Jesus Christ, they're just fucking going like crazy. <laughs> She's <is> howling! <laughs> okay, if a vegan was on top of me like that, I'd be I'd be howling to the moon as well. Maybe we just need to rethink the scene. This is the dumb version, but what if is that how Brian Lee O'Malley pitched the series? Like, this is the dumb version of Scott Pilgrim. This is the cringe version of my story that I wrote for like 10 years. You're forgetting Ramona. Forgetting all about her. Now kiss! Kiss like mm. I like the man. What? This oh my god, gay? <laughs> Wallace is the goat for this. Yeah, Jack, I think we might have jumped the gun on the gay title. Fuck! We can use it again. <laughs> I think we're onto something here, gang. Scott? Did he just say, I think we're onto something here, gays? Did he address them as gays? Todd is a good actor. Like, he's like committing to the role there. He definitely doesn't actually like men. He was just acting. No, fireworks. Todd is gay in this version? And it's purple because he's bisexual. What just happened? Not sure. Want to run lines in your trailer? <laughs> Man, that's one rocky. Like, they should probably get that checked out. It doesn't seem like the wheels are very stable. I think the suspension needs some work. Is this not fucking fan fiction? The Brian O'Malley just was like, Netflix is going to give me a huge bag. I'm going to make fan fiction of my own series. That's what he dropped on us. And I kind of fuck with it. No, I mean... Hmm. Hold that thought. No way, that's all he has to say. He just has to go, mm? That's it? Rick and Morty ass portal, bro? Get the fuck out of here. They're fucking in the goddamn vegan dimension, bro. Is it not kind of weird for Wallace to be fucking Todd in the Scott Pilgrim cosplay, though? Wallace is down to fuck anything, bro. <laughs> What's it like working with Wallace Wells? <laughs> He's taught me so much about acting. Dude, look at that, dude. That's insane. We got the NTR holding episode. That's fucked up. They're playing footsies. They're in love over here, man. Wallace has this innate ability to turn any straight man gay. Like he has such power within him. I feel myself changing. I'm a new person, a <laughs> new boy. My asshole is becoming more loose. A new boy. <laughs> She's walking away. I thought she'd be happy for me. <laughs> Tell him what you just told me. It's really well animated, this shot. This show is looks so good. <laughs> what the fuck? He's in love with me, isn't he? Well. He's become entirely demasculinated. Like, how does- He turned into me. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you mean because he's red? No, no, because I'm, cause I'm, yeah. Because I'm demasculated. Because he's fucking. And Kieran Culkin in the back of his car. You broke my boyfriend! Prepare to die!
He definitely broke his back, that's for sure. You think Wallace is a top? <laughs> well, I, Todd is definitely a bottom. Oh my! Wallace ass? Whoa, editor, censor that, bro. You have to censor that. I know, also screenshot it and send it. Get a better lawyer, baby. Ramona. Oh, wait, I just realized they aren't in Wallace's actual house. Are they in a set of Wallace's house? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wallace Wells versus Envy Adams. Fight. <laughs> Who said that? Uh, nobody. What? What is happening? I'm confused. I'm like actually confused right now. Is the narrator like an actual character or something? Who gave the narrator like freedom of uh... speech? Yeah, who gave him freedom of speech? Yeah, this is Canada. They haven't got that shit over there. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my god. god, they got the fucking Naruto fight choreography going on here. This looks awesome. Cut! Why does your character want to fight Wallace in the first place? They hired a cameraman with Parkinson's disease. It's fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's part of their, like, incentive to, like, support people with disabilities. Okay, that's kind of wholesome. Yeah, yeah, it's a diversity hire. What we had was fun, but I discovered our new kind of fun. Gay sex. And also prostate or them. You can't fight the moonlight, babe. Mm -hmm. Huh? <laughs> he has a shitty picture. <laughs> the Wallace constellation is awesome. Look at the thought that went into it. The craftsmanship. Todd didn't do this. That was rude. P-bar inclusion. They did it. They did the thing. Now that they put the P-bar in the show, I can officially pee. I haven't peed since the show came out. I was waiting for that moment. It's been three days, okay? It's Matthew Patel! Why is he so cool? He's so daddy in this version of the show. You're right, Jack. This really is fan fiction because it's like they make Todd gay. It's like the fan fiction where they really like the one character that's completely irrelevant, so they make them like super cool and overpowered. It's such fanfic. Aren't you the director? Yes! You're fired! He fucking died. <laughs> you didn't actually punch him to death. Someone kidnapped him and made it look like you won. <laughs> he literally did the Tim Allen. How is he so quick to believe this? Like, isn't he supposed to be like a crazy narcissist, egotistic guy? But if it's Ramona, his entire like personality collapses within five seconds. Like, is that what they then really does to a motherfucker? Here, Toronto. He's shacking up with some girl named Julie something. Did you know Gideon isn't even his real name? Toronto? Obviously you're not a real Torontonian if you say Toronto. Someone in the comments said you know they're evil because all the evil exes say Toronto. <laughs> they're devious motherfucker. It wouldn't be Julie Powers. Yeah, that's it. You know her? I thought I did. The music sounds like someone's about to die. Why is it so ominous? It's just Gideon. Where are you going? Julie Powers and I need to talk. I like this development because it teaches you an important lesson to not trust any motherfucker that wears glasses, okay? Weird Al? Why was Weird Al in that episode? Yeah, the narrator. They should have had him sing a song. What the fuck? Anime? What? Okay, now my anime list can't say shit. Now they gotta put this shit on their website. Daizoube kai? I thought it was about to be Matthew Patel in an anime, bro. That shit would have been so funny. Oh my god. It's giving clan ad. Or card captor. Or Sailor Moon. Oh, they're watching anime. Get it? Because he's a depressed loser who's lost everything in his life, so all he does is watch anime? That's so funny! That looked very much like the NHK. He's watching the, the Pudu Pudu Ring four hour loop on YouTube. Yeah. If you could find it in your heart to forgive me, Forgiveness I... is what you want? I have something entirely different in mind. Gay s He has no fear of gay s Yo, friendship. Oh my goodness, this is like so us though. After we finished watching cartoons, we do all of these things. What the fuck is Splatoon? They're playing in real life Splatoon right now. This is awesome, dude. Does he just have an XL No Fear shirt ready for him? He's selling merch. That's what Gideon's doing for money right now. This is wholesome. What the fuck is this show? You just get the weirdest character dynamics and like interactions ever. My childlike whimsical spirit is eating this up right now, dude. Every single character in this show just has their best life if Scott Pilgrim is dead. 
Who are these anime? Oh, they're watching the anime together. I'm a, a real baka, baka boy. boy sometimes. <laughs> I be I be a baka boy all the time. You know what I'm saying? Do they even like each other? They're so far away from the TV. It is on the other side of the room. <laughs> I really like hearing like real actors being forced to make anime sounds. Having her come in and be like, <laughs> <laughs> and what's with the robot? What robot? <laughs> Bro, that's like the scene in Billy and Mandy where he opens the window, then crashes through the window anyways. You're not in the show. I miss him. Do you think like genuinely maybe they just Michael Sarah didn't want to do the entire show? Because like by far out of all these actors, like I guess Kieran Culkin is pretty big now because of Succession. But Chris like, Evans, bro. Chris Evans. What has Chris Evans been in? I don't know, dude. I'm sorry. Like, I don't... Avengers! He's Captain America! Oh, he's Captain America? <laughs> really? Gideon? No. That's Gordon. Gordon Goose. Do you think that's clever that, like, before he was, like, the evilest villain of them all? And his real name is Gordon Goose. And Canadian geese are, like, the most evil species. I think you're onto something. I think his parents are Canadian geese. Mr. Patel had the capital, but he was also an aspiring Broadway theater obsessive. Oh my god, because he was a theater kid. This is what happens when you give theater kids too much money, chat. Dude, everyone's gay in this show. Are you implying Matthew Patel is gay because he's into Broadway? Me? The main character? Okay, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. It's fucking Into the Woods. It's Into the Woods. He's singing Into the Woods right now. Oh, that movie with James Corden? Yeah, I love that one. I dreamed I saw my sleep paralysis demon at my computer. Then I woke up the next day and there it was. A completed script with my name on it. Is he not Todd from BoJack? Todd from BoJack has at least 30 more IQ points than this guy, okay? We have to tell Ramona about this. Oh. Is she involved? That bitch. That fucking hoe. She's the one who's been searching for Scott this whole time. Really? Really? <laughs> Let's go see Ramona. Oh, it's first cup instead of second cup. Is that like a Canada reference? Yes, yeah, second cup is like a uh, coffee chain. Gordon Goose was the weirdest kid in my year. Oh my god. <laughs> we all know the motherfucker that looks like this. Oh, he wore the suit. Bro, he's a badass. He presents the most popular girl in school with a 12 point business plan as to why she should date him. Oh god. This is fucking like 10 year olds giving their parents a PowerPoint presentation on why they should be allowed to have an Xbox. <laughs> Bro, ain't nobody reading that, okay? Even in that generation, that's like 300 pages. Dude, the whole chat is saying core, core, core. I'm sorry, core. Or Jack, it was someone, for, someone said Jack lore. It's either me or core. Look, if they wear glasses, it can't be me. And like half the characters wear glasses. So I'm spared from a lot of these situations. When Gordon showed up, he was power hungry. He wanted revenge. When Gordon showed up, they drew him really, really sexily in the rain. Like he looks so hot and sexy, but now he's a nerd. Now he just sits on the couch watching anime all day. Dude, Aubrey Plaza said anime, right? Like, that was awesome. She said anime? What did you do to my house? And what's with the robot? Oh, this is the beginning. She seems pissed. Does this mean I can't live here? Live here? What? <laughs> that was probably the most anime looking frame in the entire show so far. I think this is the most anime episode in the entire show so far. I'm flat broke. I can't even afford a first-class flight back to L.A. And the only work I can get is voicing an animated series. No, <laughs> no, no. You might need to open your mind to other opportunities. And you, stop being a loser. <laughs> Why didn't he just, she just say that in the actual that series? Robot? Like, just say that to Scott. Do you think I'm a loser? I don't know, Gordon. It's fucking crazy that she could afford like a whole ass fucking apartment working at a goddamn barista. Maybe she's also a day trader. She's a grinder on the low key. A plan that would turn Matthew Patel into dust. I'd say that's hot. <laughs> I like this couple. It's pretty hot. <laughs> it's a weird pairing, but I do like it's it. It's weird. It works. Gordon has just turned into Parks and Rec. It's the Parks and Rec dynamic. Because he's just a fucking slobby loser. And then Julie's like whipping him into shape. I've been trying to figure out who did it, why they did it, and how they did it. And now I know all three. Ooh. Ooh, well get on with it! I've dated a lot of people who were suspect. That's a similar word to suspects. 
Wow! Wow! <laughs> what is that? What is fucking what? There's so many what? interactions wow. in this that are just like, what? What just happened? Who wrote that? <laughs> it was my second semester of college. Why do all of her flashbacks look like anime? They look like way more anime than the actual show. Does, does her memory like work in anime flashbacks? Is that how her brain is literally wired? This is the most soap opera of all of her relationships. Oh my god, this is literally a shoujo anime. Familiar to someone seeing someone and also seeing another someone. Knives is like, damn, how could you cheat with someone? That's kind of fucked up. Well, I think it's funnier that Ramona doesn't get it and then she has to over explain it really hard. This portal far exceeded the power level of my only vegan ex. See, I was like guessing that it's like some stupid like- A robot vegan. What? It's the fucking robot. A robot that's never eaten meat. How is this a real thing? No, she's wrong. She's wrong. It's gonna be something different, okay? It's not uh, it's too obvious. Before Sex Babom went on stage. What is, what is this music? Attack on Titan. How does the CCTV footage have like 17 different camera angles? Because they're just reusing the anime footage. The who, the why, and the how. So she just had footage of it the entire time? Or was seeing the other camera angles like a metaphorical thing? According to the file data, that script was written 14 years from now. When knives is legal. What the fuck is happening in this show right now? Time travel, time travel, time travel. Rick and Morty. Michael, Sarah, green screen, please. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yes, it was the twins and the robot and the vegan portal. How did he know? This is part of Gideon's plan somehow, dude. Gideon? Yes, dude, it's gonna all come. This is not the real Scott. Hashtag not my Scott. It was me. I did it. What the fuck is happening? Okay, no, it's evil Scott. Two Scott, two Pilgrim. Do you think there is a theory that I said in the first fucking <laughs> video that was spot on immediately? Is it gonna be like future Scott? Scott from the future is gonna save his life. It's like a time travel story or something. Am I, am I stroking my ego a bit too much? When are we? The future. Oh my god, it's him. It's him. God it's damn him it. with the beard. And you're Scott Pilgrim. Oh my god, it's like Redditor Scott Pilgrim. He's like older now. This is the timeline where he gets with Ramona and that turns him into a Redditor. So he's trying to rewrite the wrongs. He's trying to get rid of You're more or less right. Just to be like completely uh, clear, there's no time travel in the original comic, right? No. I feel like if I was a fan of something for years and they adapted it and added time travel, I would just be blanket pissed off personally. I don't know. I just want to see how they do it because I don't like automatically think something's bad. Wow. So we actually make it past 25. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Will Forte voices him. That's uh, Abe from Clone High. No way. Yes way. Here, let me show you our house. This is the thing that confuses me. Why is his voice so different? This is a 14 year gap. Scott Pilgrim is already an adult. Why does his voice sound completely different? Fighting those exes was the biggest mistake of our entire life. They then put he was so strong <laughs> that it ruined his life. Welcome. <gasps> the virtual boy! Dude, white guys with glasses just got an erection. Me and Ramona? Wait, that's the Sonic scene. What's she doing here? Do we have to confront our past or something? Because that sounds terrible. <laughs> Wait, do we have to do the entire point of the first movie? Do I have to have a character arc? That sounds terrible. Oh, we get married? This is really sweet, actually. Minions! Minions! What? They didn't ruin Scott Pilgrim with all this time travel shit. They put a minion in Scott Pilgrim. That's how they That's what it. made the series. What are you talking about? The next one is what's important. <laughs> Divorce! They got divorced. No. A few, 12, 13 odd years later. Yeah. Years? I hate this. This makes me sad. Is the resolution of this that Ramona and Scott weren't meant to be together? I fucking swear, I'm gonna kill myself if that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Brian! There's no way he would get an anime and then use it to retroactively <laughs> depress every fan. Brian! Of like, it can't be Brian, that- Brian, why? It can't be that jaded. You know, sometimes bad guys turn into great guys. You'll learn that on a later adventure. Will he? Will he? This is the end of the show. Kodakuna, heart to heart. 
I like this part though. This part's awesome. I know my own ego. <laughs> the f- <laughs> They just decided to make the goofiest music video in the middle of this show. It's just like a straight parody. Hey. Why is all of old Wallace's old stuff in our garage? What? Wait, wait. He's still living with Wallace. Knock, knock. You boys want some iced tea? Oh no! my god, daddy. My husband is... Don't. Well, it's not a secret. He's not ready. It's gonna be Gideon? Is he married to... No, dumbass. It's Scott. Wallace's husband works at Nintendo. Oh what? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he works at Nintendo! Fine. Regular Scott, shut up. Old Scott, why is there a younger you in my kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> I love how chill Wallace is. You said too bad I don't have a time machine so I can go back and stop myself from dating her in the first place. Buddy, I was obviously joking. Like what the- like what? Like what the what? fuck? What? Is he that stupid? Hey, you guys are smart, right? Um? Uh -huh. Do you think time travel is possible? Well, this is weird because this is like a different version of Scott that like feels like he didn't go through the character arc in the original series. Even though he did. He went through the character arc and like regressed. I'm just kind of... Well, divorce changes a man, Jack. I feel, I feel like you're underestimating the effect that a divorce could have on someone, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, maybe. Maybe you're right. Now it's all smushed and broken and covered in rollerblade tracks. This is part of my- I don't think the voice actor was a good pick for Scott. It's- yeah, I don't think so, too. Didn't I see you at the Rocket back at our show in the past? I think maybe the direction they might go with this is that he sees the future Scott, and then he chooses to date her anyways. Like, yeah. Kind of like, I'm gonna do it myself type of thing. Yeah, I guess maybe yeah. maybe they might go that route. I think that's cool. I think that's sweet. I like future Toronto. It looks pretty cool. It's like Dr. Stone happened. Like, does an apocalypse happen in like three years? She looks the same. She looks the same. Well, that's because I think she's a cartoon character. Why does Scott look like that, bro? Because he's a divorced man. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. I heard about old you's idiotic time travel plan. Sort of thought it was a joke. Yeah, if I was Scott and I saw the girl that I was dating aged this well, like I would commit to her even more <laughs> in the real world. Like what? I gotta invest. These stocks are paying dividends. I need to be the best boyfriend there ever was. My precious big life as Scott Pilgrim's best pal by old young Neil. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's posed like fucking Steve fucking Jobs on the front cover of that book. So I sent it back in time. You have a time machine too? Oh, she, there were two people. So she was the sleep paralysis demon and Scott took him from the future. I like it, to be honest. I feel like if you treat this as a separate thing and don't let it like affect the comic, this is really cool in and of itself. How are you supposed to separate it when the entire plot of it is based on you understanding the original? That's what I was, I'm wondering, what does someone who hasn't seen the movie or read the comic think of this? Because it is so inextricably tied to that. The plan was a disaster. The movie fell apart. Careers ended. She traveled to the past and wrote a screenplay instead of having a conversation. <laughs> Woman will do anything but go to therapy. Like that famous detective. Columbo. Columbo. I was going to say Detective Pikachu. <laughs> no, you are not. No, you are not. No, we don't support the Detective Pikachu movie around here. Well, that doesn't make any sense, though, because this is 2003 and Detective Pikachu is in... Well, maybe the video game. Video game is a 3DS game and 3DS didn't release until 2012. <laughs> oh my god, oh my you're god. right! Eat him up, Jack. Eat him up. That Detective Pikachu joke doesn't up. work! It's back to the future! It's back to the future! That looks so fucking sick. Uh, I gotta get a picture of this. I think old Ramona's hotter. Um, I just want to see them make out with each other. Apparently a 23 year old dating a high schooler is frowned upon by society. I didn't, <laughs> yeah, there's simply no way. They really have to spell it out to the TikTokers that can't understand subtlety. I'm also glad you died. It gave me a lot of space to reflect and grow. He gives everyone else a character arc by not existing. But they do have the character arcs in the comic. Knives <laughs> has this exact scene, but it's written better. What is going on right now? This is like they put a chastity belt on me. Let them kiss! 
they don't do shit in this show. They don't got anything. Like they hype them up so much, and then they have like no relevance whatsoever. They don't do shit, man. They're plot important, but they're not like featured at all. Then it's time for the big finale. This show feels like I'm being jerked off and then being poked in the eyes at the same time. <laughs> That's what I feel. Those are the emotions I feel. I don't know what that means. <laughs> no, that's what I feel. Dude, the episode is called The World versus Scott Pilgrim. That's kind of base. They should have had Twitter versus Scott Pilgrim. They should have had Twitter versus Scott Pilgrim. That's what you sound like. <laughs> Hello? Whoa, what's Whoa. wrong with you? I'm so out of pocket. Todd Ingram, right? The vegan? Let's fight! So is he just gonna speed run kicking everybody's ass right now? Fight you over Ramona? Don't make me <laughs> laugh. Oh, they don't care anymore. Scott and Ramona together again. So he's alive. Maybe future Scott put a force field around them. Like a, they put a chastity belt around both of them and they can't unlock it until they kill Scott in the future. Oh my God. This show just like chill, funny show. And then all of a sudden they're like, let's just fucking draw the coolest animation you've ever seen in your goddamn <laughs> life for two seconds. No fights, no kissing. This finale sucks. What? <laughs> You're not allowed to say that. You're God. Scott Pilgrim. That, that was my letterbox review. I don't know how he fucking got access to that. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at him. Yeah, look at him. This shot from the opening theme probably makes up about 25% of his appearances in the entire show. I do find it funny that like just through watching in the robot and stuff, he realizes all the stuff that he did was wrong. Like it's been one day for him. Yeah. Like in the movie, it takes him a long time to realize that he's in the wrong. Comic wise too, like that story takes place over a fucking year. Well, maybe it's like a big metaphor for our attention spans decreasing, you know? The mm. comic, it's a year. The movie, it's a week. The anime, it's one day, you know what I it's mean? It's three days. They're just fucking cutting it more and more. No way, that looks so stupid. Oh my god. What, a brown guy can't play a white guy in today's society? It's just specifically Matthew Patel. That's the problem. Skater, actor, vegan, rockstar. Bro, I'm, I'm praying. Please, why didn't they just make the whole musical? Why didn't they make this? Just release the Scott Pilgrim the musical. I want it. Bread makes you fat. Oh, it's so good. Why didn't they make this? What's wrong with that? It's evil, Scott. What? Evangelion. Yep, I was right. Yep. Don't say Evangelion. Yes, I was, <laughs> I was right. right. I what? was right. What were you right about? It's a Scott Pilgrim instrumentality project. No, even older. Only 47 and he looks like that? Pack it up, bro. Ramona, move on. And it just cut to Jack's camera right now. He's making the most thoughtful, philosophical expression I've ever seen. <laughs> bro, he's a thinker, bro. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this. It looks cool. Why is it Will Forte? I don't think Will Forte can sound serious. Like, it's, I don't think it's a skill that he has. The force field. It was you! Ah, duh! Why is he black now? <laughs> well, Nega Scott isn't in it, so regular Scott turned into no, Nega no. Scott. No, 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 no. <laughs> you just said the N-word, bro. You just said it, bro. I can say it, I can say it. AK Fields? Anti-Kiss Fields! <laughs> it's just like Ava, it's an AK Fields. So send the rest of us back first. We've got no beef with you. What if I have a beef with you? Oh, that's a reference. He literally says that to Gideon in the movie. Oh. Guys, leave a comment down below and slap a like on this video if you got the epic reference. And after old Wallace kicked me out, I began my training. Nah, dude, this is just every guy when they get broken up with. You just hit the gym up hard. So you're the big bad. Me? I'm a good guy. So if Ramona breaks up with Scott and the future, Scott becomes an incel. To be honest, it's the greatest woman on the planet. If she broke up with me, I'd become an incel. I mean, I guess everyone she broke up with did become an incel. <sighs> what the hell was that? It's time to chow down. It's time to chow down. <laughs> 
I don't understand why they're all fighting him, though. Are they fighting for themselves, or are they fighting for Scott in this situation? Well, I think he said he won't send them back. The music's really cool. <laughs> I just feel like the themes they're going for are so blatantly obvious. It feels like a much more stripped back version of Scott Pilgrim. Well, the original, I guess, was too subtle for people. Oh my god. Oh <laughs> my god. Hold up. We hit one rough patch and you go completely insane? Valid, valid, valid. Well, what have I been doing for the past 10 years? Giving you space. Uh. Nope. <laughs> I don't believe Brian wrote this. That is fake news. He didn't write this part. They got in fucking like Marvel writers to come in. They got Amphibia. Amphibia showed up and he's like, but what if there was a nope rope in this scene? Run! Run away from the thing that you love. <laughs> it's just fucking hearing Abe say this serious dramatic dialogue is so fucking funny. They definitely needed more than uh, eight episodes for this. That scene in particular felt so rushed and childish. This is such a child, like, ugh. Wait, what the hell? Did she just combine with her older self? self says the lesbian hell? saves the day! What the fuck? I see that now. It's all the same. It's all the same. <laughs> What are you fucking talking about? <laughs> what is she yapping it's, about? Oh, because this is the same as the original story. It's just the same story, but it's different. But it's the same story, but it's different. What I've done in the past doesn't have to define me. Help me keep remembering that. That's just the moral, vaguely the morals of uh, Scott Pilgrim. It's weird they're saying that to Scott, but the whole show doesn't focus on Scott. Well, she was saying that like about herself, like help me remember. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. But it is weird because Scott has no character arc in this. <laughs> Arcs. We need more straight kissing. Can we talk about that? You, you've said like a lot of weird things over the course of your career, but that is one of the most fucked up things I've ever heard you say. He tried to bomb the theater, sir. Why'd you do it, Gordon? Why is he confused? You destroyed his entire life. Of course he wants to sabotage you. Take the Empire back. Just let me keep my show and the rest of it is yours. Why? Why? Oh, Knives is part of the band. Wait, Scott has dated half of the band members. <laughs> Make it all of them, dude. Like, let's get them numbers up, bro. At your service. Whatever. Uh, whatever? Yeah, whatever. The fact that, like, there's this much closure to the show, it's just telling me there's not going to be a season two, bro. I'm like, damn, damn, they're capping it off. But there's that ass. Oh, bro. my God. Male ass. Everybody gets ass, okay? Yes! They're playing the Scott Pilgrim song. I love you for a thousand years, a thousand years. Okay, like he's loved her for like four days. Like he's liked her for like four days. Maybe five? A week tops? Time for the real game to begin. Oh, so there is going to be a season two. Oh my God. I don't want to watch it. And if you guys want us to watch season two of Scott Pilgrim, get this video to a billion likes. And then when this video gets a billion likes, we'll watch Scott Pilgrim season two. Huge thanks to our patrons. Alejandro Paredes, Atomic Leon, Bento, Kamlu, Cosmic Dega, Crystal Bunny, Daryl Irv, Diane Stolk, Frozen Spaghetti, Gabriel Granados, Gub Stargazer, Gummy Brain Rot, Gurnis Nile Yonison, Helio, Ipeg, Brett Hand. Isaiah Alford, Kamui, Night VDB, Leap, Lilac Moon, My Artistry, Master Nate, Matthew Byers, Solomon Graver, Native 5, Nick, Obama Gaming, Omega Waffles, Rain, Steven Sanchez, Sunny D, Tieran Sills, Toast, Ultimate Parson, Bell Explicit.